What exactly goes on in the head of a mascot? I mean, that is a lot of head. What do they see through those tiny eye holes? This is an ode to the furry, velvety razorbacks and jackrabbits, Spartans and Cardinals, the plushies. Not the men in costume, but the over-the-top, big head can barely get through a doorway mascots. How would Darwin classify a bear cat? Natural selection isn't as tough as the selection committee. There's a pretty narrow population of mascots represented. Just one Boilermaker, Pokey, and Fryer. But the litter of wildcats is tough to track. Given their often unorthodox center of gravity, mascots are surprisingly nimble. They bend, they stretch, they jump, they cheer. They may not play, but they're players. How many shocks of wheat does it take to screw in a light bulb? Here's a shocker, just one! Don't underestimate these court jesters. They're as erudite as they are crude. They're conductors, musicians, even friends. The most unnatural of pairings find common ground on the court. Sworn enemies in the forest, the mountaineer and the wildcat share a dance in March. Because in this tournament, it's not the size of the head, but the strength of the heart.